Hey everyone, my name is Michael Madden, and you probably know me as the communications guy here at FBC, or maybe the office admin, or tech guy, or the whatever else guy here at the church. But today I'm coming to you as a devotional guy. And we're living in a really weird time right now. You know, so weird, in fact, that they're asking me to do a devotional this week. But I want to just take a minute and I want to talk about our response to this pandemic. Because while we're all experiencing the same pandemic, I think we can admit that we're not all having the same experiences. You know, some people, they seem to be crushing it in quarantine. And then there's those of us that honestly struggle to get out of bed some days. I think you know what I'm talking about. You know, we all have that one friend who will post a picture on social media, and the caption will say something like, It's 10 a.m., the house is clean, kids are done with homework, heading out for our family nature hike. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag love my family. Hashtag quarantine queen. And all you can really respond with is, well, my kid's standing in the front yard in a Halloween costume eating a Pop-Tart, but hey, at least he has pants on today. Or maybe you're working from home for the first time in your life, and your coworkers are having a blast. They're sharing memes back and forth, they're changing their Zoom backgrounds to funny pictures, and you're struggling just to get your audio connected so you can be part of the weekly conference call. And you start to feel inferior and inadequate. And it's not a good feeling. And I know this because I've been there before, too. You know, this comparison game that we play, it's not unique to this crisis. We've all found ourselves there once or twice. You know, we see somebody who seems to be doing a better job at parenting than we are. Or we see someone and we think that they're having more success in their career or their relationships. And we start to think, what's wrong with me? Why can't I be like that? And if these people are having no problem, you know, reaching these standards, but I'm struggling, what's wrong with me? What am I? Well, here's what you are. You are a beloved child of God. 1 John 3, 1 reads, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. You see, when we decide to follow Christ, God doesn't just make us part of his team. He makes us part of his family. We are his children, and he lavishes great love upon us. God doesn't just love us when we're good or when we're successful. He loves us all the time because we are his children. Find your identity in that, as a child of God. You don't have to be the quarantine queen. You don't have to be the best work-from-home employee. You don't even have to get out of your pajamas today if that's too much of a challenge. This is a tough time, and if you're struggling with it, that's okay. You don't have to have the same experiences as other people. You don't have to respond to this pandemic in the same way. Fight the urge to play that comparison game. Know that you are enough even when you don't feel like it. And I hope that you'll find joy and peace in knowing that you are a beloved child of God and that he lavishes his great love upon you.